guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the recreation. This is a series that me and my lovely friend Disposable do. It's basically taking items of clothing that we found online that are either overpriced, sold out, unethical or we literally just can't find where they came from. Today's video is the latter of them options. I found this beach cover up t-shirt. Uh, on Pinterest and I thought it looked really really cool and since I'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks I was like hey let's uh let's make that so we did make that um and this is how we did that so let's get into the DIY then shall we so guys here's what you're going to need for this tutorial you're obviously going to need some t-shirts so I have a long sleeve t-shirt and a short sleeve t-shirt you're also going to want a t-shirt that's several sizes bigger than your normal size so this is a men's 3XL and I normally wear a men's medium uh, for a proper fit and then I often just wear a 2XL or an XL for like my side style. And then I have this women's long black shirt and this is a size, this is a, U this is a UK size 22 to 20, um, 24 and I'm normally a UK size 12. So this is obviously 10 sizes bigger than I actually am. You're also going to want a t-shirt that is um, really thin. Uh, the ones I can say are like Primark thin t-shirts because the thicker, heavier material won't stretch and give us that spider web effect. This t-shirt here is from f and and I'm not sure where this one is from originally but it's all cotton and it's really, um, really thin so it'll give us that desired stretch that we need. We also want pairs of scissors. I have a big pair and a smaller pair and this is my cutting mat just so I don't cut into my material. Um, that's in my backdrop. You obviously don't need a cutting mat. And some tailor's chalk. A tape measure and a straight edge so we can get the lines crisp just as we like them. And this is all you'll need so let's get started shall we? So I brought you closer to where I'm filming so it'll be easier for you to, to see what's going on. So I'm going to start with the long sleeve t-shirt which is uh, here. And I'm just going to spread it out as flat as I can possibly make it. I'm also going to bring up the reference photo I have, just so I can make sure I get this exactly how I want it to be. So here's my reference photo on Pinterest. And to me, it kind of looks like um, the spiderweb starts in this corner here, and also has separate ones in the sleeves. To make sure I don't cut through to the back, I'm going to take my self-healing mat, I guess this is called, and just plop it inside there. And I'm also going to move it up so I have it on the corner so you can see what I'm doing just down here. So now taking my tailor's chalk, you can also use regular chalk that you get off the sidewalk and stuff. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to take my reference photo and I'm going to start drawing. So this circle is the bit that I'm going to leave, I'm not going to touch that bit, and then um, if the lines that I make are going to be the lines that I want to be kept. Okay, so what I've done is I've just kind of cut along the lines I've made, making about inch to inch and a half wide strips, and um, once I've finished cutting all these strips, then I'm going to tug at them and then they'll get that really spiderwebby effect. Um, I also cut off the hem of the uh, top and then the neckline as well because they were getting in the way. Um, and it's really just like a lot of patience and a lot of trimming, so just keep on doing that until you get bored. Thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed that DIY. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and go check out today's video as well because we both did this video. We always do it really differently, however this video might be a lot simpler and similar because it's essentially just cutting slashes into a t-shirt. But I'd love to see how she does it, of course I had not seen hers yet as we are still filming hours, but it'll be out when you're seeing this. I'll be in the link 
it'll be in the link it'll be linked down below and in the cards and in the end screen which will be after I finish uh, chatting to you guys so I hope you don't mind having two DIY videos this week it might have even been more fun having two DIY videos but stay safe stay dark don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye